So the C4 June 2005 paper, looking at question number one. And it's a straightforward binomial expansion. Um, we're given the question in this form. Now I would rewrite this as a power form. So let's rewrite 4 minus 9x. And as it's a square root, it's to the power of a half. Now, to use a really nice form of the binomial expansion, which is on your formula sheet, the 1 plus nx form, um, we really can't have a 4 here. We need to have a 1. So we need to take out a factor of 4 from the bracket, and we will then get 4 to the half. It's our factor of 4 coming out of the bracket. 1 minus... 9 over 4x all to the factor of half. So I've taken our factor of 4 to the half out, which we can then uh, give us 2 outside the bracket and 1 minus 9 over 4x all to the power of half. Now we can do expand the, the bracket with the power of a half using the nice form now. So let's write out two big square brackets. And then we have one plus nx. So n is a half. Our x is minus 9 over 4x. And then we add n, n minus 1, all divided by 2 factorial, which is just 2, and then we get our x, which is 9 over, minus 9 over 4, very important negative sign, squared, and we need to go up to including the x cubed term, so we need one more, so let's add n, n minus 1, n minus 2 all divided by 3 factorial which is 6 multiplied by 9 over 4x which is our x cubed plus the expansion can continue. We only want to go up to the x cubed term but it does carry on. So uh, let's start sorting all of this out two big square bracket one plus well it's actually going to be a minus because we're going to have a minus from here so it's minus nine x over eight and then you can see that we're going to get a plus from this bracket being squared it's going to be another minus from here so all the fractions out and you can use your calculator to help you you get minus 81 over 128 x squared minus, sorting all this out again, it's going to be another minus because we're going to get a positive from these two negatives, but a negative cubed is also going to give us a negative, makes a negative overall. Again, you can use your calculator 729 over 1024 x cubed plus the other terms which we're not interested in. And then the final step, we just need to multiply out by our multiply out by our factor of two, and I'm making approximately equals two because I'm just going to include up to the x cubed terms. So I get two minus nine over four x minus eighty one over 64x squared minus 729 over 512x cubed. Now I've used approximately equal because I've not carried it on, I've just included the first terms. There are other terms, but we're not interested in those.